Hey, it's Jack, and this video is the number one powerful strategy for you if you are in a long distance relationship. Hey, thanks for being here. Please subscribe to the channel. You can just click the square at the bottom corner of this video, or you can click the button below this video. And be sure to hit the bell notification because that will allow you to know as soon as new videos and updates come out. I just wanna thank you, this community, I'm loving it. I appreciate all your engagement. Questions and comments below this video are welcome as usual. So I wanted to do this video because I've noticed a lot of comments about people saying, well, how does this apply if I'm in a long distance relationship? And what we also know, just at large is that there are more long distance relationships than ever. I think it's part of uh, globalization. I think it's part of people being willing to move further distances um, with work and the fact that we have the technology that in some ways, in theory at least, should support more long term relationships because we can do things like video chat. So. I just wanna get down to brass tacks. You know, often in my videos, the way that I'm orienting is to try and give you a pretty simple view of reality in order that you can do the difficult thing or see the lesson or just see something more clearly. Now, you might have to add the nuance around what I'm saying because I don't obviously know the particularities of your context, but I'm just gonna talk in orienting generalization to what I see as the fundamental question in a long distance relationship. And I think for most people who are asking questions, they are in the kind of long distance relationship where it's not a committed partnership, right? This is not two people that are married and one of them is taking a job on an oil rig and is coming back and forth, you know, or it's not a long, it's not a partnership that's had years under it and then for work or family or looking after a sick relative that someone's got to spend a period of time apart. Um, this is really, I think the essence of this is for people who are like, we're, we're not in the same place, we're in a long distance thing, we're in a relationship, you know, maybe we're boyfriend, girlfriend, or maybe we're kind of earlier than that, but we connect a lot. And I'm kind of wondering, like, is this gonna go somewhere? Is this gonna work out? And so if that's your situation, what I wanna suggest is that that actually is the dominant question, is the, is this actually gonna go somewhere? And so what you might wanna prioritize between you and your partner or potential partner is, how do we get the data to know that we actually want to invest in this in a more meaningful way? And what that usually requires is that you actually go spend some significant time together. Now, you may have some economic constraints, right? And I know it should be easy to travel to see each other, you know, particularly if you maybe live in different countries or different sides of a big country. And there may be professional constraints, like you're like, well, I'm working really hard. But I wanna to say to you, if you wanna have a really good relationship, there's an orientation to relationship that relationship matters. Relationship's important and relationship is therefore a priority in your life. And if it is a priority in your life, you might wanna make a real priority of, let's find out if this is something that is investable. And so, you know, I may need to take a whole series of long weekends that might need to negotiate with my work that I'm just gonna, every you know, noon at Friday, I'm gonna be out of the office and I'm gonna be heading to go and see this person. Or I may need to take some money from other areas of my life and invest them towards being able to travel and spend high quality time together. You know, or maybe I need to ask for a mini sabbatical. Um, or maybe we need to go on holiday together. Like, yeah, let's just book a week and go on holiday and kind of blow the thing up and see. Uh, you know, I think you're getting the essence of what I'm talking about here is that it's worth investing hard in the seeing if this is going somewhere because you can do the long distance thing for a long time. What we don't want is that if you actually want a partnership is that you're actually settling for some kind of companionship or pen palship that isn't really the thing that you want. And believing that a, a companionship will become a partnership, I really don't want you to believe that. They often have different energies and the founding energy of a relationship can be really important. So if you really wanna be in a partnership, you wanna make that clear up front or as early as you can. And you wanna say, therefore, I wanna invest to see if this has the possibility of going somewhere. And I wanna take that risk, you know? Maybe you take the risk and you fly out and you spend a week and it doesn't, it doesn't materialize. In my world, much better to know that than to be living ongoingly in a fantasy or delusion about what this relationship could be. And believe me, if it's really like you have partnership potential, you'll get some really good information from spending time together and it, it won't be in vain. So that's my encouragement. Now you also, the other cool thing about this is if you start to engage the other person in this dialogue and they don't really have an interest in that, it's a really good data point. If they don't have an interest in spending some high quality time with you, what has you think that they really wanna be in a high quality relationship with you? 
right? Now, if there's a temporary constraint, like, yeah, I'm, I'm offshore, I'm overseas for now, but I'm, you know, I'm gonna be coming back in a couple of months or whatever, then you can have your choice with that. But even in those situations, if someone's really serious about you, you know, they may be willing to get on a plane or they may be willing to put you on a plane or they may be willing to meet you halfway or they may be willing to put aside an hour every evening for you to have a high quality conversation on FaceTime. Right? So there's lots of ways that this could go down. I'm, I'm, I'm encouraging you to tap your intuition and notice, is this person really available? Are they really willing to put the energy in? Because, wow, if you're gonna be doing long distance for any time in a relationship, the investment kind of needs to be almost higher, right? Like it's a higher threshold because we're not getting a lot of the benefits of touch, of easy intimacy because we just live near or in the same place or together. So, it's almost like the bar is higher. So for someone to meet that bar, you need to see that effort and that energy. So I'm kind of encouraging you not to shy away from the fact that this might be something that you really want to pursue. And so therefore set the standard and be in the conversation. And if that conversation is not easy or it doesn't materialize or he won't have it with you, I think you have a preliminary answer that, wow, this person, at least in this cycle, isn't really available to, uh, to invest in this. So. Go invest, find out, and I'd love to know what your experience is or has been. As always, questions and comments below this video. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And take my free webinar. It's with my teaching partner, Clayton Olson. He's got a really successful YouTube channel. We have a great teaching synergy and we've got rave reviews about the webinar. So just click that link, find a time that works for you. It's called the three keys to being relationship ready. It's three really punchy teaching points. We cover unconscious roles. We cover the single organizing question that a man is asking him to work out if he wants to commit to you or invest in you. And we also look at the secret source of feminine vulnerability. So if any of that stuff has any intrigue at all, I just wanna encourage you to click the link, register for that video and uh, read it for the webinar and find a time in your time zone that works for you. As always, I wanna thank you for being here. I really appreciate this community. My name's Jack and I'll see you on a video soon.